Yeah. Rodney on the Rock here, 106.7 K-Rock. And, and we just heard um, a band called Alita Number 18. And it's produced by uh, Joey and Daniel Ray from the Ramones. And Joey Ramone will be calling in a little bit later. He's got some shows and some things happening tomorrow night over at Zeke's uh, backyard over at the Opium Den. The fabulous, the one and only Ramones. And here is Joey Ramone, the lead singer from the Ramones. Hello, Joey. Hey, how you doing there, Rodney? Great. It's great to hear from you. Yeah, it's good talking to you, too. Yeah, it's amazing. So, so that track, uh, it's, it's, um, it's just total mayhem, huh? Yeah. That yeah. mega mix. Yeah, mayhem mega mix. Yeah, I, I played one of your bands a bit earlier, Lolita Number 18. Right. So they are an all-girl band. No guys in that, is No, it? no guys. They're from Japan, uh, Tokyo, mm -hmm. and... Um, they um, contacted me, wanting me to produce them, and um, I've been doing a lot of work with Daniel Ray. Mm -hmm. We work well together, so um, uh, so we produced their new album. That's, and, um, is that going to come out in America? Uh, well, they're looking for an American deal, but I'm mm -hmm. sure it will come out as an import. Oh, yeah, you've been doing a lot of producing. I know you produced Ronnie Spector. Her new thing is really amazing. Yeah, yeah, we... Um, the yeah, first four songs that we, we produced, uh, Creation picked up, Alan McGee's company. Yeah. So that's coming out this fall, and um, we're doing a full full record with her. Yeah, it brought, it brought Brian Wilson to tears, you know, on, on a pr appreciation level, like when he, we played Don't Worry Baby when he was on the show. Yeah, that was great. I heard about that. Yeah. Hey, we missed you at the Nancy Sinatra show last night. Yeah, well, I was at uh, Joseph's Barbecue. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. It was really good. She did all of her hits. It sounded, it sounds great. And she even did the Doors, Light My Fire, and um, be some Beatles songs, and she did, you know, and she did all those songs. Boots Are Made For Walking, and she did one of Frank Sinatra's tunes, and she did everything. It was really incredible. Yeah, yeah no, it sounds pretty wild. The audience really it was, liked it. It was the whole big band, huh? Yeah. Is it, so you, you were you were jamming last week at the Troubadour, weren't you? Yeah, well, I'm... I've taken this band under my wing, as they say, uh, this band called The Independence. I've been kind of um, co-managing for about three years. Mm -hmm. And um, they're on tour with the Voodoo Glow Skulls. They've been on tour for about two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, they, they're doing, um, they, on um, Thursday, they played the Troubadour with, um, with the Voodoo Glow, the Glow Skulls and this band uh, Welt. Mm -hmm. And... Um, we kind of uh, we kind of conjured up a little surprise where um, I came out and also shown a knife were in town and they came to the show so mm -hmm. um, we all came out and did a we did like four songs with the Independents we did some Ramon songs and um, matter of fact like shown a knife um, they're doing a show in Japan in September. They're calling themselves the Osaka Ramones. Yeah, great. And they and they want me to come to Japan and do some songs with them. Well, that'd be neat. So it was kind of like, um, you know, kind of a pre-trial or something, you know. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot of fun. They had a great time, and I had a, the kids flipped out. Like um, that guy Paul over at the Troubadour said, um, it was the the largest mosh pit he's ever had at the club, you know. Wow. And um, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. you know? It was like, you know. Well, that's and, that's um, really neat, yeah. I just produced um, the new record for the... Uh, Along with Daniel Ray. And Joey Ramone is on the line. Joey! Yeah. So the Independent sounded really good. That In the Rain, it's called, right? Yeah. And where are they from? They're from uh, Florence, South Carolina. Wow. Same with the Ramones being Pet Cemetery. Yeah, that was a good one, too, right? Yeah, what's this I hear about um, Princess Di being buried in a pet cemetery? I mean, you don't uh, you don't bury the... Uh, the I heard that today. The Prince of... The Princess of Wales in a pet cemetery. It was on hard copy. That that island that she that they're on, they put her um, um, in the um, where, where these dogs are buried and stuff. Yeah, well, that's pretty sick. I know that is sick. And but those should... English are very kinky, right? Yeah, well, she deserves better than that. Yeah, she deserves better than that. God, I mean, they should bury her with her family. Yeah, well, maybe that means she'll be back. Yeah. She'll be buried in the pet cemetery. I got asked to be uh, do an episode of the Drew Carey show. Really? Yeah. That's incredible. That's like one of the great. That's the top show. That is the show, actually. Yeah, Drew yeah. Carey. It's it a really big show, and I'm very excited to, um, you know, do it. 
Yeah, who, <laughs> which character are you going to play? Well, I get to play me. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's um, it's the first show of the new fall season. Oh. And I guess like Drew has um, has a band, mm -hmm. and they're uh, what they're looking for they're auditioning lead guitar players. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to audition as lead. Hi, kids. This is Joe Ramon. And you're listening to Rodney on the Rock right here on KROQ FM, Pasadena, Los Angeles, rock of the 80s and 90s. Punk Boy. That's coming out. Uh, I've got a new album coming out called Bubblegum Killers. Mm -hmm. So um, that was fun. Because right. she's, she's, um, she's very cool and a real big Ramon supporter. Mm, that's good. Yeah, she is. Yeah. 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 And, um,. I don't know. I mean, the way things work. So next week is my anniversary show. Well, happy anniversary. Remember, you were on my very first show. And I remember first, that. Ramones have always been on my show throughout the Us and Widowmaker. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you remember. Very eclectic. Yeah, so next week I'm going to be playing um, the, my Verb interview and my Sex Pistols interview, my Sid Vicious and Johnny Rotten interview, uh, Darby Crash, and Dennis Wilson with... Brian Wilson.